Hi, I'm Anthony. This is my dog, Rosie. We're from Hayden, Alabama. You're watching Trucker Josh and his dog, Weasel, and TJ... So we've had a couple of days at home now. I've got the hood latch all figured out and fixed. We're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go pick up that load that I picked up uh, in uh, Edmonton last week. I'm gonna go grab that load, it's still waiting for me at the yard and it needs to be in like Chassassin, Ch Chassassin, Chassassin, a suburb of Minneapolis. It's gotta be there tomorrow morning, first thing because I have to go to Berlin, Wisconsin and pick up my reload tomorrow before end of day. And I think they go home early there. I have a feeling that's one of those shippers that stops shipping at like two. So I've got to unload as early as I possibly can and rush over there. It's about four and a half hours. So rush over there, get loaded. And that load is taking me up to Fort McMurray, Alberta, up to the oil fields again. And then from there, we'll get a load coming back home. And then I need some time off at home to uh, get some renovations done. We're adding a, a back door into our house. So we've already got it all picked out. I'm getting it at Home Depot. I'm gonna go pick it out. It's like a, a double wide door and we've got to cut a hole in the back of the house. My dad's coming down to help. Uh, my my, my father-in-law is coming down to help. My cousin might be there as well. We'll have a couple of guys. We should be able to get it done within a day. We're gonna get it done uh, the Saturday of Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, Canadian Thanksgiving is coming up. That is October, the weekend of October 13th, 11th, 12th. I think October 14th is Thanksgiving Day. It's a Monday. It's a long weekend anyways. I know you Americans, you have Thanksgiving later on in the year. We have ours in October before Halloween. So that weekend we want to get that door installed and then we'll have access to our backyard because right now we got no no doors going out the back of our house maybe we'll get that all done well we're all hooked up ready to go and we begin this trip in a very windy rainy wet miserable weather kind of day Hopefully tomorrow will be nicer because today we get to stay inside the truck for the most part. Tomorrow we actually have to unload and reload, but that'll be down in Minnesota and Wisconsin. So, all right, buddy. So you took about 10 miles to pass me and then you turned in front of me and now you're slowing down. Why didn't you just stay behind me? It's not very nice. Start my day off on a sour note with you. We have 738 kilometers to go. That's uh, like seven hours of driving, a little over. So what, eight hours or so, we could be there eight and a half. It's just after two o'clock right now in the afternoon. So we should be getting there around 10 o'clock tonight. We get our day going at 8 a.m. tomorrow, 8.30, somewhere in there. everything goes smoothly and we can get reloaded and be on our way to Alberta. We're just leaving Manitoba right now so we got about an hour to the U.S. border headed south. North Dakota right now. I'll talk to you again when we got something more to show you. It's just dark here right now, but I just wanted you to hear that. The sound of the rain just pounding down again. 
And this is upriver from our place, so all this water goes back down to Manitoba. Just coming into Fargo now. The lightning strikes around here have been insane. Like they're just huge bolts of lightning hitting the ground within a mile of me in front of me here. Looks like they're hitting in town here somewhere. I don't know if we're gonna catch one now on camera. We just might because there's been a couple that have just nailed the ground up in front of me. I don't know if it's on the other side of town or how close it was, but the thunder from it shook my truck. It blinded me for a second too because it was so bright. But we still got a long way to go yet. This guy in front of me can figure out where the lane is. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll come in. I thought that lane ended over there on the right. I guess not. This guy's been sort of speeding up and slowing down and speeding up and slowing down. I kind of want to get in front of him. I think every time there's a big lightning strike, this guy slams on his brakes. I guess the light freaks him out. I don't know. Looks like we're starting to rain again. I wonder how long this is going to go on for. How has it been around where you guys live? Has there been a lot of rain this fall season? Woo! There was one. Yeah! Oh, go on, let me hear the thunder. Yeah! I love thunderstorms. I hope Mike picked up that thunder. I've always loved thunderstorms as long back, far back as I can remember. I remember being a kid and every time there was a thunderstorm, I would sit, turn off all the lights in the house and sit by the window. Mom would always get mad at me because uh, she thought, well, apparently lightning could be attracted to the screens and all of our windows had screens. I don't know if she was just saying that, just keep me away from the windows or make me go to bed. She probably just wanted me to go to bed. I don't know, but I would always, Go to my room and just sit at the window and watch the watch the lightning. I remember a couple of really big thunderstorms like this when I was a kid. More than a couple. These used to happen every year. And now for the past couple of years it's been so dry. And we're finally getting good rainfall again that all the water levels are going back to normal. snow. I heard that Calgary got like a foot of snow yesterday. I'd, I'd take the thunderstorm and pouring rain over that any day. ourselves on a little detour this morning. Uh, it's the next morning. We uh, couldn't really film much last night because not only was it pitch black, it was also pouring rain. But this morning's been pretty wet and rainy too. So we, uh, there was an accident on I-94 just west of Minneapolis. Traffic got routed through uh, whatever town this is here. I think this is St. Michael, Minnesota. A little detour. This actually doesn't add too much time to my day. It's added maybe 10 minutes so far. <clears throat> still on time to deliver this lumber. Got to get there and get unloaded as quickly as possible. We still do need to get over to Berlin, Wisconsin. In 500 meters, turn left on St. Michael Parkway, NM 241. Look at this beautiful church coming up here on the on the right. Wow. I love these old historic churches, you know. 
used to be like the town center or the, the community center, you know, this is where everyone would gather. That still is for a lot of people. A lot of people. Do I want to turn left here? I could turn left here and it's the same road. Wait, I can't turn left up there. Karen, why are you telling me to turn left up there then? There's a no turning sign up there. I'm turning here. Same road. Same road. No, no, that's not the same road. Definitely not the same road. Nope. Okay. Okay. I'm turning left at the next light, not this first light. Oh, because it's a one way. I get it now. Okay. See, this is what happens when I. 200 meters. Turn left on St. Michael Parkway, NM 241. This is what happens when I'm in an unfamiliar place. Hey, there's a Snap Fitness there on the right. Hey, hey, my gym. Need to get back there. I've taken a break over the summer. It, it, my break actually didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I, I thought that the break would be uh, more about uh, me walking, right? I take a break over the summer from paying for the gym because I thought, oh, I'll get, uh, I'll get more walking in. It's summertime, right? No, failed myself this summer. Uh, that's okay, we'll keep trying. Uh, my gym membership, it was only on hold, so I'll... Uh, I'll begin going again next month. Through the winter. Sort of disappointed in myself. When it comes to... When it comes to stuff like that, sometimes I don't have the self-discipline I wish I did. But, uh, you know, other times... I do. It really depends what I set my mind to. I've found that if I set my mind to something and I'm passionate about something, I'll get it done. I'll make it happen. But I just couldn't convince myself that that's what I wanted to be passionate about this summer. And I don't know why. Living a healthy lifestyle is important. I know that. Sometimes it's hard to get excited about it. So, I know a lot of you are right there with me and understand fully. <laughs> but on the other hand, I was passionate about getting our roof done Continue this year. Continue on this road for six kilometers. And I was able to completely pay for it in cash without one dollar of debt. You know? So I did reach that big financial goal this year. So it's not like I didn't read meet any of my goals. It's just my fitness goals I didn't even come close to. But, you know, we'll just try again. We'll just aim for it again in the future. And try to keep my plate free of any kind of like uh, big, big projects. We have that door we want to put in our back backyard. Like we got a lot done this summer. We got the roof done, paid for in cash. We got that new door going in, paid for. We got uh, that lean-to beside our garage, completely dismantled, taken down. There's an old goat pen that was on our yard in the bush from our old neighbors. I got that taken down. Well, I got a lot of stuff done this summer. So it wasn't a complete, uh, it's not like I was just sitting around doing nothing. I got a lot of other stuff done. So this lineup has been uh, going on here for about a mile and a half. And there's these people on the left here that are uh, holding everything up because they're shooting to the front of the line on the left here and cutting in front of everybody literally at the corner where we all want to turn. So this lane's hardly been moving at all because those people think they're more important than everyone else. Look at this guy, another guy. Another guy. Why do you guys think you're more important? Why don't you wait in line like everybody else? Unreal. I hate it when people do that. I waited in line the whole mile and a half. Just to have people cut me off at the front and then hold up the line, right? But whatever. All good. 
Detour's over, we're just getting back onto Interstate 94 right now. And uh, we, that detour cost us 15 minutes. Oh, maybe 20 minutes. More than I wanted it to. Or at least we got past that accident that was Continue on the highway. Walk this road for 18 kilometers. What's up, Diesel? What's up? So we're here in uh, Chanhassen, Minnesota, which is pretty much a suburb of Minneapolis. And we're just waiting to get unloaded right now. There's one truck in front of me yet that's getting unloaded, and then they unload me. They're taking their sweet, sweet time. Which is bugging me because I've got to be in Berlin. Like, first off, they told me they wanted me there before 2, to check in before 2, and they wouldn't start loading after 2.30. So it was one of those shippers. Um, so I called them and they said, well, today they're gonna be there late. So whenever I get there, they're gonna get me loaded. So they were just glad I called ahead to let them know. Cause I'm like, well, once I get unloaded here, it's five hours. And I've been sitting here for a while, it was 9 a.m. So if I get unloaded, if, even if I get out of here by 9.30, it's 10, 11, 12, 1, 2.30. They're 2 30. Plus I, I need to stop for a coffee, a bathroom break. Once I get out of here yet, so it's 3 o'clock is probably when I get there. So I'm really glad that I called them and uh, they'll they'll be there late. So they'll be able to unload me as soon as I get there. Or pardon, pardon me, load me up as soon as I get there and I can get on my way towards Alberta. Because it's Friday, otherwise I'd have to wait all the way till Monday. But anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Tomorrow's vlog will consist of all that fun. I hope you guys tune in. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs down button if you thought it was terrible, but subscribe anyway because everybody's friends here. Hit the bell beside the subscribe button. That way you get notified when a new video gets released because I don't really have a set schedule right now. I wish I did, but at the moment I don't. So I really rely on you guys hitting that bell and also sharing my video uh, just so that more people get to see it and more people get to enjoy the vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Anthony, and this is my dog Rosie. We're from Hayden, Alabama. You're watching Trucker Josh and his dog Weasel on TJ.